hope you're all having a really great day, guys. <laughs> Good morning my loves. It is a very moody morning. It's so dark, so rainy and also like really misty over the fields as well which is actually one of my favourite types of mornings especially when we've got a cosy day at home planned. Saying that, Jamie's sunflowers are looking a little bit worse for wear out there. Look at them. They were absolutely thriving the other week. They were so tall and now they're just they're not they're not looking their best good morning my loves i hope you're all well i am patiently waiting for it to just stop raining just a little bit because this morning i am gonna head over to aldi i just i'm baby free today guys the world's my oyster I woke up just really in the mood to do an Aldi food shop. Since having Noah, nine times out of 10, I will do an online food shop just because it's so much easier. Um, and I, I get days where I really miss just like a good, a good food shop and especially an Aldi one because I haven't been in honestly like a year and I wanna see what new stuff they've got in because they usually do like different little bits and also i heard through the grapevine the grapevine being tiktok that aldi do pumpkin spice bagels so i really i really want to find some of those today that's my my goal for my shopping trip the only thing i am slightly nervous about though is the whole packing situation i'm very out of practice yeah, once i get home from aldi we're gonna have a nice cozy chilled day at home I have a slow cooker recipe that I really want to try. It's like a pasta recipe that looks really nice. And then also as well, I've got loads of living room updates for you. Um, it's almost complete. There are a few other bits that we'd like to do, but our sofa is here um, and it's literally transformed the room. It looks so different. So I'm excited to share some home updates with you. Um, do you know what? This video is actually going to be a shop with me for Christmas. But it just felt a little bit wrong. You guys know Christmas starts on the 1st of November in this household. Seeing as it's not even Halloween yet, it just felt a little bit wrong. And also we haven't even carved our pumpkins yet. So Christmas cannot begin until we have carved our pumpkins and watched Hocus Pocus and had our Halloween themed cheese board. So yeah, my next video guys, Christmas, Christmas is coming. But yeah, I wanted to make this one one last really cozy autumn vlog because autumn just goes by so quickly, doesn't it? I think it's actually the shortest season. Hey, my loves, I'm going to finish my coffee, head over to Aldi. I'll show you what I got when we get back. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you guys. Also, if you were wondering what these markings are on the wall, I'm not sure if you guys could see those just there. At the weekend, Jamie and I got a really crazy idea in our heads that we were gonna knock the wall through. Um, Jamie's very much one of these people when there's an idea floating about, he just wants to get it done, which is literally my favorite, my favorite one of his personality traits. But yeah, these markings on the wall were from potential wall knocking down. Ta-da! Looks like those like Ouija markings you can tell i've been watching way too many horror films um but jamie cut out these squares just to see what the wall was like because when our house was built i think the original plans were to have doors or an archway here so behind 
this wall there is actually already technically like an archway I don't know the technical terms but basically there's like a I think it's called a lintel there's something there that basically means we can have a arch there or double doors there and it won't be like a lot of work Jamie said it's literally just a case of knocking the wall through and then um plastering an arch but yeah this was gonna happen yesterday but you guys know my life revolves around my Christmas tree <laughs> and the tree is going up in the next few weeks I said to Jamie if we start this now can you guarantee it's going to be completely finished in the next few weeks um and we sh we just decided it was too much pressure and too much stress because it's not just a case of knocking the wall through and making the arch you've then got to plaster it all and then obviously you're going to be able to see the plaster so you've got to repaint um and the thought of having to do that on top of everything else in the next few weeks just I feel like would have completely taken the fun out of it so the plan is we are going to do the arch after Christmas you know when you've taken down all your Christmas decorations and you just feel like you want change I do this every single year because the house always feels very bare once the Christmas decorations go away so I thought that would then be really nice to do like big house changes like the arch like painting like panelling um, and our kitchen is also getting done the first week of December so but yeah I thought it would just be a nice little project to save for the new year I just wanted to show you my extra cosy outfit of the day I feel like the human teddy bear today <laughs> this set is just so comfy so this is from Zara and it's this knitted cord which I'm absolutely obsessed with it's so nice it's just this oversized jumper and then these really baggy knitted trousers which are really nice and high-waisted as well and then I just popped on my Uggs as well because would I be wearing any other footwear these have honestly not left my feet since I bought them they're just so comfortable yeah this is my cozy outfit of the day I might pop on like a nice chunky scarf or maybe like a puffer coat because it's raining at least then I won't get absolutely drenched yeah, I'm home from Aldi guys I made such a rookie packing error so usually I get a trolley I forgot my pound so no trolley for me so I opted for two baskets right Usually when I have a trolley, I have my big reusable bags, which I will pop open in the trolley ready for obviously packing so I can literally just like basically do this off the side into my bags. So picture this, I've got two full to the brim baskets in one hand, make my way over to the till, put everything out on the conveyor belt. Now I forgot my bags, haven't I as well? So no pound, no bags. I had to get these little bags at the checkout which let me tell you do not fit much in at all and also when you're at the end of Aldi there's not really anywhere to pack is there guys it was so chaotic shopping was being fired at me yogurts were going everywhere and I was literally just like this trying to catch everything it was chaotic but it was all worth it because I found the pumpkin spice bagels. These smell amazing. Like even, not even open in the packet, they smell so good. I feel like they're gonna be like the, you know, the raisin and cinnamon bagels. That's what they smell like, but I think these with cream cheese are gonna be so yum. I'm imagining like a pumpkin spice cinnamon roll with cream cheese frosting on that's the kind of vibe i'm imagining these to be a little aldi haul for you guys i did just pop away all of like the boring bits like fruit veg meats but i wanted to show you a few like different kind of bits that you can only get an aldi so first things first these baby potatoes are honestly i know they sound like just baby potatoes they are so much more than that but like the marinade that they're in is so yummy. So I usually, I don't cook these how they say on the back. They say shallow fry or microwave. I usually pop these in an oven dish, pop them in the oven for about 25 minutes. And then I really lightly crush them. So they're like a crushed potato. Oh my goodness, they're so nice with salmon. One of my favorite dinners actually is these salmon and then some veg. And to go on our Halloween cheese board, which we'll probably have um is monday halloween i think it is we'll probably have monday night 
I picked up this little cauldron, little cheese cauldron. And this is red Leicester with red chili. Thought that'd be really nice to dip some bread in. So it looks like this, yum. I got some Moroccan inspired hummus, then some sweet potato pakora bites, which look like little falafels. So I thought these would be really nice. Dipped in the hummus, or would that be overload? Pakora and Moroccan hummus, we can try it. Um, I just thought those would be like a nice little lunch teddy with some carrot sticks, cucumber sticks, pita, stuff like that. Then something I've been wanting to get my hands on for so long are the little protein puddings. I thought these would be so nice to keep in the fridge for just like more of a healthy kind of pudding. So I got two of the caramel ones and then one of the chocolate ones just to try. So we'll give these a go and then if they're good, I'll stock up on more, but these have got 20 grams of protein per pot, which I thought was great for a little dessert. Then I got an old, an old favorite of mine, these strawberry protein yogurts. These are so nice, they're like really thick. Um, 25 grams of protein per pot. I like to have these with fruit, um, even sometimes like on oats, it's nice just to add a little bit more protein or even in smoothies. Then, I picked up these little snacks. These reminded me of the Kinder um, milk bars. You can get them in like the, the chilled section, usually in supermarkets and they're so yummy. Um, so I picked up the Aldi version. So I got chocolate ones and also, you will notice that two of these are missing. Me and Jamie just had one of these and oh my goodness, they are delicious. These are the strawberry flavored ones and They've got like a strawberry layer. And I thought I'd try some of the Mamiya Extra Sensitive Baby Wipes. Um, I've heard a lot of people say these are really good, so I thought I'd give these a go. And also as well, I thought I would try some Aldi nappies. So I got these ones and no is in size four now. It makes me feel emotional every time I have to buy a bigger size nappy. What is wrong with me? Then, random, but I picked up these toaster bags. How cool do these look? So they're just little bags and you pop your sandwich in there and then you put them in the toaster and they're reusable and you can use them up to 50 times each. Um, I currently do toasted sandwiches either just in the pan or in the air fryer, but they never really turn out that good because they, they're not pressed. They're kind of just like in the pan or in the air fryer and they like kind of like fall apart. So I'm gonna give these a go. Then a few other bits I got was this fajita melt kit. Thought they looked well yummy. Love a fajita, like such a quick and easy dinner. Um, and these are limited edition, so. The limited edition always suckers me in because I'm like, they're not gonna be around forever. Like there's no time to think about it. I just need to get them. I got a selection of nuts because Nuts in Aldi are so affordable. I got roasted pistachios and cashew nuts. I think these were like £1.29 each and they're big bags as well. And then last but not least, I got some little tubs of protein oats. Again, thought these would just be like a really quick and easy breakfast. So I got some golden syrup flavored ones and then two chocolate flavored ones. For a late breakfast, I have got some oats. This porridge is, oh my goodness, so nice. It's got little chunks of chocolate in. It's also made with, I'm pretty sure, coconut cream or coconut milk. So it's got kind of like a coconutty um, taste to it. It also has little chunks of dates. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really nice flavored porridge. And I've also got a chopped up banana, some pecans, some chia seeds, and also a drizzle of honey. And also with my breakfast, I am gonna take my daily vitamins. So these are the hair, skin, and nail gummies from my vitamins in the peach flavor, which you guys know, trying to open this with one hand is quite hard, are my absolute favorites. Literally like little jelly sweets. They're so yummy. 
Then I'm also as well taking the coconut and collagen tablets. I've also as well recently started taking the vitamin D gummies. These are great to add into your routine as the colder weather creeps in. Um, because obviously we're not getting as much sunlight, our body is making less vitamin D. So by just taking one gummy a day, you are keeping your vitamin D levels up, which are really important for your overall health, your immune system. Vitamin D is also great to support the health of your bones and teeth. So yeah, I take one of these a day. They are orange flavor, also vegetarian friendly as well. As you guys know, I take two of the hair skin and nail gummies again these are really important to add into your routine as the weather gets colder and i've spoken about these so many times but these are peach flavor they are literally so yummy you guys know i've got a really good my vitamins code which sorry i just feel like i'm gonna dribble because these were so nice my taste buds are like give me more um my code is Gemma, and that will get you 55 percent off your order which is amazing so if you want to stock up on your vitamins you can get over half price off um, if you are looking for some new vitamins to try and you don't take vitamins as part of your routine, the gummies range is a great place to start because they're just so easy to take and I feel like having them in a gummy form, I feel like I remember to take them more. So I would recommend hair skin and nail gummies, also the multivitamin ones, vitamin D for the colder months. Um, and also the apple cider vinegar ones are really great as well. So they're a few of my faves, but my vitamins have so, so many different products to browse through. And like I said, you can get 55% off absolutely anything. So I will leave a link down below for my vitamins. <laughs> My new mug, I know I say a lot of mugs are my favorite, but how gorgeous is this mug? A really sweet lady called Molly from Native Homeware sent me the most amazing handmade mug, which says Noah on it. So of course I am completely in love with it. And she also sent me as well, this little mini espresso one which matches and I just thought this would be the perfect little mini mug for Noah and me to have hot chocolates in. Yeah we'll leave a link down below for Molly's Instagram in case you are interested and you can have a look at all the lovely homemade bits that she's got. I'm pretty sure she's got a drop coming really soon of lots of new bits so yeah I will leave a link down below can't get over how cute this mug is i will literally treasure it forever okay it is time for some living room updates it's been the rainiest day ever today and the sun has just come out and it's blue skies all of a sudden it's crazy how quickly the weather changes so if it's quite bright in here it's just because the sun is currently beaming through the window with the living room imagine it painted and panelled and the arch in the wall um part of me wants to wait until it's finished to show you but then also part of me cannot wait and i'm excited to get your thoughts let me know if you change anything add anything because you guys always have the best ideas so oh, i'm excited here we go <gasps> guys look at our new sofa what do you think i'm honestly so happy with it i think it changes this entire room i think it goes so much better um and as you can probably tell just wanted to go for much more of like a relaxed cozy kind of vibe so this sofa was from dfs it's called the lexia sofa in cream and as you can see it's like a beautiful linen fabric it's so nice and it's also really soft as well and on the sofa I've just added two of these really cosy throws. We also have a new rug which is from Next Home. I'm actually working with Next Home this week on my home Instagram account which is so exciting. So they really kindly sent us this rug and also this swivel chair. Guys how cool is this? And it's so comfortable. It's like a big 
big cozy marshmallow and then this floor light over here is also from next home um, but I'm going to be filming a how to make your living room cozy reel. I've got a few other bits to add as well, which I think will look really nice. So I'm excited to film that this week. And then this back wall, this is where the arch would be. So this wall here goes through to the kitchen diner. So the arch would go from about here to about there. So it would take up quite a lot of this wall, but... I think it will look really nice. I think it will just open up this space because the living room does feel very closed off from the rest of the house. So I think it would just make it really open. I don't think the corner of this would be in the way too much because the arch is more slightly this way. But first things first, Christmas tree is going here. So once the Christmas tree has had its moment, we can then do the arch. I am so happy with how the living room is looking. I'm really excited to see what it looks like at Christmas. Um, I should think at Christmas, I'll find a new home for this chair. This chair will go here, and then obviously the Christmas tree is gonna go in this corner, which I think is gonna look so cozy. I think the living room just kind of goes a lot better together now. Obviously before we had our gray sofa and chair, um, I just feel like it was a bit of a mismatch of furniture. Whereas now everything just kind of goes together a little bit more. But yeah, let me know what you think. It is that time of year, just dusted off the old slow cooker. Just gonna preheat it before I start cooking. For dinner tonight I'm making, it's a Betty Crocker recipe, I've never used a Betty Crocker recipe, but it is a slow cooker creamy Tuscan chicken pasta and it looks so easy. So all you need to do is, I'll pop the recipe down below just in case you guys fancy making this, but you need to pop some chicken stock, Italian season, salt and pepper flakes into your slow cooker. Then you need to add some chicken thighs. You cook the chicken for two hours. I usually leave it for longer than that. I'll leave the chicken for a good four hours probably. So it's like in your mouth and like just falls apart. Um, then you need to stir in your pasta and tomatoes, cook for a further 30 minutes, and then you stir in your cream cheese, parmesan, and spinach. It sounds really nice. Um, so yeah, I am gonna get cooking our slow cooker Tuscan chicken. I'm not allowed to sit at my office chair anymore because this one has claimed it as his. He sits here every single day. <laughs> and this is Tilly's new sleeping place. She usually curls up in the curtain. Cats are so funny, aren't they? Oh, hello. You think of all the cosy places they could sleep. Yet a curtain is Tilly's favourite place. Oh, hello. You waking up for me? You want some attention? Hello, darling. Question is, am I gonna get a nug in? Tilly! <laughs> She's just rubbing against the door at the moment. Nugging? Nugging? Oh. I wanted a nugging, not a button. I wanted a nugging, miss. Come on. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, that is my favourite thing ever. Oh. That is my favourite thing ever when she headbutts me because she doesn't do it often and she only does it to me. Jamie's always trying for a nugging but she would never. <laughs> She's never ever given him one. Um, lots of you guys have been asking about Tilly which is very, very, very sweet. Um, I had a conversation with the specialist last week who I was waiting to hear from and she has got to have surgery on both of her legs which as you can imagine is very worrying. Uh, surgery is booked for the end of November which basically means when she comes out of surgery she needs to be in a cage for eight weeks um, which 
it's gonna be hard. Like, I know that's gonna be a really hard time. Because Miss Tilly is one of those cats that just likes to do whatever she wants to do. I think the specialist said to me, which made me feel a lot better about everything and like put it into perspective massively was, Tilly's only four. So she's still very, very, very young. Cats can live up to like 20. So he said that she has her whole life ahead of her and it's so much better to get the surgery done now while she's young like the recovery time will be quicker um and then she won't be in pain anymore so i mean it's definitely something that we're going to do but i just think it's something that i need to get my head around um tilly and teddy are like my my children you guys know i don't know what i would do without them so the thought of her not being very happy for a while is just it's just really hard, but I'm glad we've got an answer. And we've just got to get you fixed up looking sharp, Tilly, haven't we? Hey? we just got to get you fixed up. I'm trying my luck now for one last nug in. Ah, uh, that was more of a shoulder in, but okay. I'll take it, Tilly. I'll take any kind of attention from you. <laughs> Slow cooker's on, washing machine is on, and I've also just got a few bits and bobs around the house that I wanted to get done, put all of Noah's washing away, had a little bit of a tidy up everywhere. Um, I've also just spent an hour on my computer just getting some editing done. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this rare bit of time that I have to start reading my new book, which I picked up. Um, Noah's gonna be home in about an hour, so I've got about an hour to just have a little bit of me time, which is so incredibly rare these days. So I picked up this new book called signs the secret language of the universe which i'm gonna try and read a little bit of i was gonna say each day but that is never gonna happen each week we shall say at the moment i'm trying to feel more me i was i was about to say then get back to me but it's i don't know how to explain this this is like i feel like this is a really it makes sense in my head, but I feel like if I say it out loud, it won't make sense. How do I even start with this? Okay, I'm trying to feel more like me. <laughs> but I also don't really know who I am anymore. Um, I just feel like since having a baby, I... Yes, I've lost my myself because I'm a different person now to who I was before I had Noah. Does that make sense? So I feel like I'm almost learning who 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 is Gemma like who is Gemma who is she <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to get back into things that I enjoyed before I had Noah because that was authentically me so one of those things that I really enjoyed which is more of like a lifestyle really was the law of attraction you guys know I love the law of attraction and I've literally lived my life by it for the past five, six years. And I feel like since having Noah, I've not lost that part of me because I feel like once you really get into the law of attraction and you start living your life by it, you don't ever really, you don't ever really stop. I just feel like I'm not very aligned at the moment. What I'm trying to say is, I think when you become a mum, you become a new version of yourself. And I feel like I'm in that limbo of the person I was before I became a mum and the person I'm meant to be is here. I'm kind of like floating around in the middle where like I, I don't really know who I am. I have lost my identity big time. Like I'm just mum at the minute. Like I am just mummy <laughs> that's who i am that is me and as much as like i love that and being a mum is one of the most amazing things but also one of the most one of the hardest things i've ever done and i'm not even mad about being just mummy right now <laughs> like i i enjoy it it's just i don't know i think do you know what it is i'm craving some kind of normality but then this is my normality and I'm going through that thing where you feel like you're not in your own body I have said about feeling like this before and I think the reoccurring theme with this is I feel like this when there's a lot of change in my life and I'm I'm like trying to 
adapt to the change and just kind of get used to it. But yeah guys, I just wanted to tell you about my new book. <laughs> I don't really know how it turned into all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spend an hour, make a dent on this book and then Noah is going to be home. I always miss him on a Monday. You guys know he goes to my mum's on a Monday. So it's kind of like my day to just get stuff done, have a little bit of me time and yeah, I'm looking forward to him getting home. But for now, I'm going to start my book. That's Noe's new name, apparently. Chubbo the Bubbo. Hello! You had a nice time at Nanny's. <laughs> Has he got a choice? <laughs> What's his choice? Is Chubbo the Bubbo? Chubbo the Bubbo or Bubbo the Chubbo? Wow, which one are you going to go Chubby for, Noe? <laughs> we were saying we haven't seen him in one of these little short sleeve so tops for ages. And he looks funny. Is it bedtime now? He's been to Nanny's today, hasn't he? He has. Mm. He has. Day. Look at him. Looks like a little boy <laughs> now. Yeah, I know. It's the short sleeve top. It makes him look so grown up. Oh, look at the little wrist rolls. His, his whole like face Another is wrist changing rolls. as well. Changes let's, every let's day at the moment. No inspection. Yeah, he's turning into a proper little boy. Oh, his little trousers, his little red cheek as well. I think he's been teething a little bit this afternoon again, Mum said. It's very warm. Because his little cheek's yeah, gone very little, red. Little Guys, look how long this like tuft of hair is getting on top. Oh, <laughs> Nanite. Nanite, darling. The most precious little boy. <laughs> hey. Good boy, boy. So this seems to be one of Teddy's new favorite places i had to move all of the bits off this top shelf because he kept knocking them off he's got an obsession with shelves at the moment slow cooker pasta is pretty much ready it looks so good i also just tasted a bit and it's probably one of the nicest pastas i've ever had i wasn't too sure about um like how it was going to turn out because i didn't know whether it was going to go you know when the pasta's overcooked and it goes really soggy but it's actually so good. So I'm definitely gonna make more things in the slow cooker purely because it was so easy. It was so nice to just pop everything in here, then get on with my day um, and then have like a really yummy meal just ready. I also just popped the oven on so we can have the garlic flatbread and I've got some rocket as well because I always like to have salad on top of my pasta i just think the two go together really nicely i actually just had an idea i've got some burrata which i could put on top of this pasta and i don't know if it'd be too cheesy is there such thing as too cheesy that could be really nice let me try another bit with the parmesan on if it's too cheesy i won't but if there's room for more cheese i'll add burrata because it's my favorite ever i think it'll ruin it I hate to say it, but I really do think it'll ruin it. Oh my God, it's so nice, guys. It's so creamy. It is a little later on in the evening now. I've just got ready for bed. This little one is well and truly fast asleep and guys we're actually sleeping on the floor tonight well we're on the mattress um jamie has taken the bed down because my friend is actually coming to pick up our old bed tomorrow along with our bedside tables and our bedside lamps so we've currently got the new ones in here and also some paint samples on the wall um but i will say having the mattress on the floor is so cozy like i just feel i feel like i'm kind of camping and i really love it is it sad that i'm really excited to like put the tv on and watch 
like a film or something on the floor. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, like I said, my friend's coming to pick up our bed and bedside tables and lamps tomorrow. And then our new bed is coming at the weekend, which I'm so looking forward to. I feel like it was forever ago that I ordered this bed. Um, I feel like it had like a 16 week wait when I ordered it. So I'm really looking forward to it coming. So that's coming on Saturday. But yeah, bedroom makeover is gonna be happening this weekend. Um, I'm gonna vlog this weekend as well. So I'll show you guys all of the updates. Very exciting, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Am I even in focus? I've just realized I might have been blurry throughout that entire bit. I've just moisturized my face. And you know, sometimes when you get a little bit of moisturizer in your eyes and like everything's blurry for a little while. I thought maybe my eyesight was just blurry, but it might have just been my camera. Plans for now are, it's currently 10 past 10, and we are just going to get in bed, watch something on TV. We've finished all our series again, so we've got to find something new. Um, lots of you guys have recommended The Good Nurse on Netflix. I think it's a film, so I think we might watch that tonight. Or some of it anyway, we'll probably be asleep within about 10 minutes. Um, but actually, we've been having some really great night's sleeps recently. So Noah, out of the blue, has just started sleeping 12 hours straight every single night for the past 10 days now, just every night, 12 hours, seven till seven. I'm feeling extremely blessed right now. I'm very grateful for just a few good nights sleep. Um, but I honestly do feel like it was the four month sleep regression. When I spoke to you guys on Instagram about it, so many of you said that like the four month sleep regression was really hard and then all of a sudden it just stopped and I felt like when you're in the midst of the four month sleep regression it's so hard you cannot imagine it ever just stopping but it really did like one night he just slept for 12 hours and ever since then it's happened every night and we haven't done anything different we just tried to stay as much in a routine as we possibly could with him throughout the sleep regression and kind of just like rode it out if you are in any kind of sleep regression with your baby at the moment keep going it will get better um it's incredibly hard but just keep trying to get through it and yeah it, i can't believe it just stopped all of a sudden but yeah guys thank you so much for spending the day with me it has been a lovely day um my next video is going to be my first christmasy video of many so i'm really looking forward to that so yeah love you all so much and i'll see you next sunday Night night bye